Sue Simrao may be the face of the women's basketball program. However, the contributions of assistant coach Brooke Wyckoff are not to be eclipsed. With a well-heeled resume, the former Seminole turned coach is a living testament of one who truly does it all. When Brooke played, she was a utility all over the place, best hustle player that I had ever coached. Uh, she was the kind of player that uh, would move from one side of the floor to the other in help defense. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And being a Florida State Seminole was something new and different, and um, it was a great start to a, a long career in basketball. Wyckoff arrived on Florida State's campus in 1997. The year also marked Sim Rao's first season coaching the Seminoles. From the moment Wyckoff stepped onto the court as an old, she dominated the game. The overall experience of being here, um, playing basketball at this level for a place like Florida State means the world and really no stats or wins or losses really matter. It's what it led me to beyond my four years here. Though Wyckoff finished her career as a Seminole totaling 1,350 points, the 14th most in program history, 804 rebounds and 209 blocks, the 614 locked in on an even bigger platform, the WNBA. She was part of the beginning of the WNBA. Definitely I knew she could go overseas. She was tremendously talented. But for her to be drafted, that was really special. Wyckoff was selected by the Orlando Miracle in the second round of the 2001 WNBA draft. She went on to play for the Connecticut Sun and the Chicago Sky. After starring in the league for nine years, the Ford took her talents overseas where she played for the Estudiantes of Spain. Really what led me to success and, and a long career as a professional was the willingness to do all the dirty work. After wrapping up a successful career as a professional athlete, Wyckoff didn't quite give up on the game she loved. The former Ford began a career as a high school basketball coach. However, a phone call from a familiar voice lured her back to a place she once called home. Coach Sue was the one that kind of got my mind going about it. I didn't know, you know, I really hadn't considered coaching on the college level. Eventually those conversations led to her offering me a position. And when she offered me the position here, it just felt right. Now alongside her former coach, Wyckoff has played an instrumental role in orchestrating the defense. She really takes pride in her, the defensive side of the ball. She just really stresses that with us and uh, she, just her energy on the defensive end and you know trying to get us going, that's, that's what she does with us. She has seen a lot of different ways of doing things. What works, what works for specific players, what works with specific teams, personalities, and that's a real value. In addition to having a keen eye for defense, Wyckoff also plays an important role in scouting talent for the Knowles. The assistant coach was vital in recruiting the Seminoles Shaquayla Thomas, Leticia Romero, and Maria Conde. She even came to Spain when they were recruiting me. Her coming back like a few years after just to meet with me and just recruit me, it was a pretty cool experience for me. And her knowing Spanish, it was huge. While Wyckoff is all business on the court, off the court, she makes it a priority to bond with her team. She knows how to talk to the players, how we feel, and we feel really comfortable just talking to her about everything. She's a diva, that's her nickname. She's the diva of the team, real girly girl. I guess there were some things that I was doing, some things about me that they want to call me a diva. I flip my hair sometimes when I get mad. I choose to take it as a compliment, but it, they might be totally laughing at me behind my back. Whether it's creating a remarkable career as a standout player, turning it up in the WNBA, or thriving as an assistant coach, Coach Brooke Wyckoff has made quite the name for herself and has proven she is fair game for any challenge. I couldn't be more proud, not just of what she's done, but of who she is and who she's become. I'm Brandi True for Seminole Sports Magazine.